Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today I'm watching Freddy Got Fingered. I was just in the Nostalgia Critic review of Freddy Got Fingered and purposefully did not watch the review yet. Coincidentally, we did some No Country for Old Men parodies in that review and I also have not seen that. <laughs> Shock. Today I'm in a very glam, early 2000s look because Freddy Got Fingered came out in 2001 and I needed something fun to do because this is gonna be a mess, I think. I don't actually know. I said I was gonna do it online and everyone was like, no, save yourself, no, it's terrible, blah, 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 blah. But there's quite a few people I've talked to in real life about the film who say that they remember it being funny and that they remember like enjoying it. I have no recollection of Tom Green. That's probably because I didn't watch I almost said MySpace. I wasn't allowed to watch MySpace as a kid. I didn't watch MTV or like VH1 or whatever show he was on Comedy Central. I didn't watch any of that stuff growing up. I wasn't allowed to. And so I don't have any recollection of knowing him. I don't think I ever saw anything he was ever in. Kind of looked like one of the princesses in Candyland. But that wasn't my intention, <laughs> but here we are. All right. Sausage. Let's do it. What in the actual f was that? In acting school, they tell you to follow your impulse. As an actor, if you just follow your impulse, you'll never be led astray. And this guy took that note and just ran with it. He's like, oh yeah, you want me to follow my impulse? Well, how would I jack off a horse? So, spoilers if you haven't seen it. <laughs> There's entirely too much animal jacking off. Like way too many hand jobs for animals. That's my first thing. That should be a shirt. Freddy got fingered. Way too many hand jobs for animals, in Tamara's opinion. It's a long shirt, but it's, it needs to be made, nevertheless. <laughs> Please don't make that shirt. This story is about this man-child named Gord, which, oh, a terrible name. Gord, I'm sorry if that's your name. <laughs> but Gord is this man-child baby who is 28 years old, lets everyone know it, and he can't keep a job. He's suffering from some major mental issues, clearly, and isn't able to hold down a job because he wants to be an animator. He achieves that dream to a certain extent through some weird loopholes with his dad and then he jacks off an elephant on his dad and, and then that's pretty much it, you know? That's, I mean, that's basically the, the movie. <sighs> it opens on X-Ray Cat and I really liked X-Ray Cat. I thought that was funny. And then it, you see this banana character who gets a job. I'm like, hell yeah, good for him. I enjoy that. I liked the animations that this guy did. I wasn't hating it because I had built up such like a scaredness of this film because like, I was ready for it. I legitimately said that I might actually be okay with this movie. And then he jacked off a horse. I'm no, super unneeded. I don't know. You've heard of horse girls, but have you heard of horse boys? No! I'm just gonna insert that no every time something really terrible happens. Then it just goes from weird scene to weird scene to weird scene to weird scene. And that's obviously what the movie is. So you go into his cheese sandwich factory job and he gets tired of having a cheese sandwich factory job even though it's been like two seconds. And so he like climbs on the conveyor belt and has a sausage in his hands and then like Pretending it's his penis, and he's like, I'm a sexy boy. I'm a sexy boy. Like, well, 1A, you're not. 2B, stop that, it's unsanitary. 3C, are there sandwich cheese factories? Because that sounds great. Then he meets Drew Barrymore in the film, and she calls him a skinny loser who needs to f off. Well, that was the only line in the whole film that made any sense. Also, inconceivable to me that he was married to her. Crazy! I bet he's a nice guy. I shouldn't be such a dick. So Gord is in and he's talking to the animator god who he's trying to get a job from. And the guy literally says to him, there has to be something that happens that is actually funny. It's a literal line in the movie. 
Is that like meta? Did he do that on purpose? Or is that just sad? Probably though. The animator tells him that if he's going to be drawing animals, he has to get inside of the animals. And so of course, in the very next shot, he drives up to a dead deer in the middle of the road. And I just said, don't that deer. Don't that deer. Don't, he doesn't the deer. And it's somehow worse. Go ahead, insert it, insert it now. No! Then he drives by the horses again, going back home. He decides he doesn't want to live in Hollywood, it's too hard. And the horses are And he starts eating sandwiches really fast and messily. And I don't understand the scene. Is he turned on by it? Or is he upset by it? Are they not related? What's happening here? What is going on? Insert it! No! His friend breaks his leg with uh, really bad practical effects and he licks his open wound. His bone is sticking out of his leg and he licks it. <laughs> it's so wacky. Then he's in the hospital for his friend and the woman next to him in the hospital bed over is having a child and he delivers the child. And it also feels like, people aren't gonna like that I use this word, but it feels like very like rapey. Like she's like, please get a doctor. And he's like, no, I'm the doctor, I'll do it. And like starts grabbing in her vagina and it just feels like it's a lot. It's like a horrific scene to watch. Then the baby isn't crying. Everyone's like, okay, well they're making a dead baby joke. <laughs> So 2001 of them, and then he starts swinging the baby by its umbilical cord, and then the baby starts crying. And then later he tapes the umbilical cord on his stomach for some reason, because he's so wacky. No! So he meets somebody at the hospital though, they start dating, she gives him a lot of blowjobs. Then they go on a second date, and he tells her he doesn't want a blowjob. He wants to like just hang out, get to know her. Which one feels very out of character for this character. Also, you didn't ask the horse if it wanted a hand job. The elephant later, if it wanted a hand job, did you? No, you just went in for it. I don't even have the energy to talk about the sausages. No! Okay, and then Gord tells the therapist that his dad has been fingering Freddy. That's what we're going with for the title of, okay. Tom Green though is like this chaotic neutral. He's not like chaotic good by any means. He's also just not chaotic evil. He's just kind of himself and like he causes havoc around him but it's just like his own thing. I got a bag of jewels for you, Betty. I don't want a bag of jewels, Gord. I just want to suck your cock. Okay, that's a little funny. <laughs> so he spends all of his money on jewels, a helicopter rental, and moving part of his parents' house to Pakistan to prank his dad. Pranked ya! And then he jerks off an elephant. And that's just, I mean, that's basically the end of the movie. Oh, but then at the very end, the mom is with Shaq. The mom left the dad, and now it's with Shaq. Best part of the film for me, by far. I'm gonna watch the Nostalgia Critic review of it real quick, BRB. <laughs> Yep, same. A lot of things about how I'm gonna cry, a lot of things about how people are sorry for me, people telling me not to do it. <laughs> Sad confession, this is one of my guilty pleasure films. I know plot-wise it's guff, the characters are silly, but moments like, you have to have cheese in a cheese sandwich, and look at me, daddy, I'm a farmer, just really make me laugh. And you know what, I can't fault you for having this guilty pleasure. I even hate the concept of guilty pleasure movies. Enjoy what you're gonna enjoy 100%. Though I have to question you though, with the whole, look at me, daddy, I'm a farmer. Really, is it the line that makes you laugh or is it, is it, is it jacking off a, a horse? What do you think, Tom Green Live? How will Tamara react to Freddy Got Fingered? What do you think? No! The best way to watch Freddy Got Fingered is to take it out of the machine and break the disc in two. Unfortunately, I watched this on Amazon Prime. I'm gonna see you all next week with The Last Starfighter. Bye! Oh, hair flips. No, no, this movie doesn't deserve hair flips. Okay.